NASA is once again reaching for the moon with the Artemis program, aiming to return humans to the lunar surface for the first time in over half a century. The vision is bold, establish a permanent human presence on the moon as a stepping stone to Mars. Artemis 1, the first uncrewed flight, was a technical triumph, sending the Orion capsule around the moon and back. But beneath the celebration, the program faces serious challenges. Progress is slow, with repeated delays and ballooning costs threatening its future. The Space Launch System rocket and Orion crew capsule while engineering marvels have been plagued by setbacks. The first launch slipped from 2017 to 2022, each delay adding billions to the budget. NASA now spends a fortune on a system that might only fly once every few years. This pace is unsustainable for building a permanent lunar base which needs frequent, affordable missions. You can't build a settlement with a delivery truck that arrives every few years and costs billions per trip. The current approach feels like a relic of the Apollo era, monumental but not routine or scalable. As of September 2025, Artemis II is still months away, and the first landing, Artemis III, has been pushed back to at least late 2026, possibly later. Excitement is giving way to frustration as costs mount and timelines slip. The dream of a lunar outpost is alive, but weighed down by financial and logistical realities. NASA is committed to this path, but it's becoming clear that something must change. Meanwhile, a revolutionary alternative is emerging on the horizon. The Artemis program's dilemma is stark when you look at the numbers. Each Artemis launch costs an estimated $4.10 billion, some say closer to $5 billion when all expenses are included. That's not development, that's just the price for a single flight. The SLS rocket is expendable, discarded after each launch, driving costs sky high. The Orion capsule is only partially reusable and requires extensive refurbishment. This model is the opposite of the commercial space industry's push for full reusability to cut costs. Even NASA's leadership admits this isn't sustainable. Administrator Bill Nelson has publicly said the SLS's per-launch cost is not viable for a long-term lunar program. The current path is a financial dead end. Enter SpaceX's Starship, designed for full reusability and aiming for launch costs orders of magnitude lower. Projections for Starship range from a few million to $50 million per flight, still a fraction of SLS costs. Even if Starship costs $100 million per launch, it's a game changer. This isn't just a small improvement, it could completely rewrite the economics of space exploration. The contrast between Artemis and commercial alternatives is impossible to ignore. Despite its costs, the Space Launch System enjoys strong support in Congress. The reason isn't just about space, it's about jobs. SLS contracts are spread across hundreds of companies in nearly every state, supporting thousands of high-paying jobs. Lawmakers have a powerful incentive to keep the program alive, regardless of efficiency. Congress even mandates NASA use SLS for deep space missions, tying the agency's hands. But the tide is turning. The program's immense cost is drawing criticism from watchdogs and a new generation of politicians. NASA is quietly funding commercial alternatives like SpaceX's Starship for key roles in the lunar program. This signals the agency is hedging its bets. Congress continues to fund more SLS rockets than NASA has planned missions for, while NASA explores using commercial rockets for future missions. There's talk of upgrading SLS or even replacing it for cargo flights. These discussions are politically and technically complex, but they show the status quo is under pressure. The future of lunar exploration may depend on breaking free from old political habits. The debate over cost and innovation is only intensifying. Enter SpaceX's Starship, a radical new approach to space travel. Starship is designed to be fully and rapidly reusable, with both its booster and spacecraft returning for quick turnaround. This is the holy grail of rocketry, long sought but never achieved at this scale. Starship towers over the SLS and can lift over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Its immense capacity and reusability could slash launch costs. Instead of discarding rockets, SpaceX plans to fly each Starship hundreds or thousands of times. The cost per launch could drop to just the price of fuel and ground operations. Starship is more than a rocket. It's a multi-purpose spacecraft cargo hauler, tanker, crew transport and lunar lander in one. For lunar missions it could replace SLS, Orion and the lunar lander, launching, landing and returning in a single vehicle. SpaceX's development process is fast and iterative, build, test, fly, learn, repeat. Failures are public but each one accelerates progress. This approach has allowed SpaceX to outpace traditional aerospace rivals. Starship's rapid evolution is reshaping what's possible in space. 
The industry is watching closely as SpaceX pushes the boundaries. Comparing NASA's Orion and SpaceX's Starship reveals two very different visions for human spaceflight. Orion is a compact specialized capsule for four astronauts, designed for safety and reliability, but with limited capacity and high costs. Its missions end with complex ocean recoveries and lengthy refurbishments. Orion is a bespoke crew taxi, excellent at its job but narrow in scope and expensive to operate. Starship by contrast is built for volume and versatility. Its pressurized volume dwarfs Orion's offering more space than the entire International Space Station. Starship could carry dozens of astronauts and all the supplies needed for a lunar base in one trip. It's a true spaceship transport, habitat, and lab combined. Starship is designed for rapid powered landings at the launch site. No ocean splashdowns, no massive recovery fleets. The operational loop is streamlined for speed and efficiency. In every metric, payload volume, reusability, and cost, Starship is a leap beyond Orion. The contrast highlights the shift from bespoke, expensive missions to scalable, affordable exploration. The future may belong to the vehicle that can do more for less. Starship's promise is huge, but safety is its biggest hurdle. NASA is deeply risk-averse after tragedies like Challenger and Columbia. Every American crewed spacecraft has had a launch abort system, except Starship. SpaceX argues Starship's reliability and engine redundancy make an abort system unnecessary but NASA will need extensive proof. Another challenge, Starship's plan for orbital refueling, a complex maneuver never done at this scale. Transferring hundreds of tons of cryogenic propellant in orbit introduces new risks. NASA will demand flawless demonstrations before trusting this process with astronauts. Certification will likely require Starship to complete many consecutive successful uncrewed flights. SpaceX's rapid public test failures clash with NASA's cautious, methodical approach. Bridging this cultural and technical gap will be a major challenge. The path to crewed Starship missions will be long and demanding. But if SpaceX can prove reliability, the payoff could be transformative. The stakes for safety have never been higher. Artemis stands at a crossroads. The SLS and Orion system can deliver initial moon landings but not a sustainable lunar presence. The economics just don't work for long-term exploration. Political inertia keeps the old system alive but pressure for change is mounting. SpaceX's Starship offers a radical alternative, if it works. Its potential to deliver massive cargo and crews for a fraction of the cost could transform lunar exploration. The dream of a permanent moon base could become reality within a decade. But Starship's key technologies, reusability, refueling, safe re-entry, are still unproven. The path to crew certification will be tough and uncertain. There's real risk Starship could fall short or take much longer than hoped. The likely future, Artemis starts with SLS and Orion, but pressure to adopt Starship will grow as it proves itself. If Starship delivers, lunar missions could become routine and affordable, opening a new era of exploration. The next few years will decide whether Artemis is a bold new dawn or a costly missed opportunity.